Long range planning and the catch ball process. Setting up collaboratively a clear direction for the organization. This presentation is about describing the key elements of the long range planning cycle. It gives an overview of the catch ball process, a collaborative process designed to ensure goal setting at all levels. Long range planning is an exercise aimed at formulating a long term plan to meet future needs estimated usually by extrapolation of present or known needs. In other words, from the current reality in which the organization operates, we define its desired future. Improvement projects move the organization from the current reality to the desired future. Even simpler, the team is answering the questions, where are we, where are we going, and how do we get there? Know the value of foresight. You can't predict the future, but you must assess the future aspect of present events. Why do we need long-range planning? We need it to set up direction and purpose to the business, to create alignment in a structured way. And long-range planning supports the requirement of ISO 9001-2015 to describe the context of the organization and management review. At the end of the long-range planning, there are certain elements that are placed on the timeline. Far on the horizon is the vision. It is not time-bound nor measurable. The vision statement describes where and what the organization wants to be in a minimum of five years. Over a period of 24 to 36 months, the team set challenges that are measurable and time-bound breakthrough objectives. The usual themes relate to finance, marketing and sales, operational excellence, people development and engagement, and compliance. Let's give some examples of breakthrough objectives. Examples for finance objectives could be achieving net profit margins of 15%. Market-related objectives could be a market penetration of 45% for a specific market segment. An example of operational excellence is 96% on time in full delivery performance. People development and engagement examples could be four problems solved per employee per year. And compliance objectives could be the improvement of the health and safety system to 72%. Target conditions are established for the current financial year, and these are the annual objectives that will focus the team on moving closer to the breakthrough objectives. The current condition is measured by the key performance indicators to date. A succession of improvement projects and opportunities pulls the company's performance towards the target condition. The improvement opportunities are potential projects that are activated as the current projects close. As the executive team travels from the now to the where, they engage with their direct team with practical tools. This aspect of long-range planning supports change management and culture change. The long-range planning is a set of logically linked tools that provide management deep clarity on their business and how to create better control of its systems. The first milestone of the journey is the foundation. It answers the question who we are, who is our customer? The organization exists to create customers and to retain them. So the first item on the foundation milestone is the customer value proposition. It answers the questions, who is our customer? What problem are we solving for them? And what differentiates us from the competition? The customer value proposition is used to understand the product, service, or solutions our customer values to help them do a job, eliminate some pains, or create some gains. The next item is the mission statement, which is internally focused and is the first communication item to align the minds and hearts of the employees. The mission statement is designed to define what success looks like. This is why the next item is to define the business metrics. In other words, how we are going to measure success for the next 12 months, every month, at company level, using sets of key performance indicators and key behavior indicators. Then we want to establish what are all the business functions required to deliver customer satisfaction based on the company mission. This is the organization process model, a process view of the organization. With this map, we will be able to clarify at a later stage the relationships between internal customers and suppliers with service level agreements. 
Once we have the organization process model, we are in a position to define the company organogram, starting with the function owners or heads of the department appointed to run the organization with their staff. This is the people view of the business, and this closes the foundation milestone. In the next milestone, we dive deeper into the current reality of the business, both internally and externally, and then we design the business for desired future. This milestone, current reality and desired future, answers the question, where is the business going and how do we get there? Building up from the organization process model, we now start to describe into more details what the processes are for each of the functions in the business. This tool is called the function process model. It is useful to define the territory of each head of department. We list the processes they are in charge of standardizing, improving and sustaining. With the function process models, we can now identify with a good level of detail the risks associated to the processes and the opportunities for improvement. At this point of the long range planning, we can already identify and even start critical improvement projects. Next, we consider the environment in which the business operates. We favor Michael Porter's five forces in addition with the constraints the government and society places on it. There too, risks and opportunities for improvement are identified. At this point of the long range planning, we have all the elements to define the breakthrough or strategic objectives for the next 12 to 36 months. They cover the four perspectives of the balanced scorecard, the financial, commercial, operational and people aspects of the business, but also the governance and compliance ones. It is now time to revisit our vision, evaluate its relevance, as well as the alignment of the breakthrough objectives to it. The hard work is done by now. For those organizations that follow a standard for their management systems, this milestone is almost a formality. This is the management review milestone. The next milestone is designed to establish an accountability structure where communication flows and all employees are engaged every day. We start by celebrating the achievements of the previous financial year or merely reflect candidly on past challenges. We then communicate the objectives for the next year. What comes next is the establishment or revisit of the network of standard meetings designed to govern and operate the entire organization. The last part of the long-range planning is the catchable process that we explained in the last segment of this presentation. The long-range planning seems to be gruesome business. It clearly requires top management commitment, but MP provides several versions based on where the organization is on its journey toward operational excellence. The role of the MP coach is essential to balance the needs of executives and how quickly we cover the process. Finally, Long-range planning is an annual process. It becomes easier over the years. The purpose of long-range planning is to provide everybody in the organization direction in a clear and focused way. Top management owns the entire long-range planning process and support their leaders. Leaders champion the process at their various levels. We need engagement to effectively communicate to ensure that all people understand the words used in the process. The leaders of each MBU engage with their team to define the key performance indicators and the objectives at their level. All parties must agree. Engagement is not a negotiation. It is an alignment. If the team does not agree with the key performance indicators and the objectives, success is a pipe dream. The leader of each team defines what the objectives are and collaborates with the team on how to achieve them. The catchable process is to ensure every member of the organization is engaged to create alignment from the long-term breakthrough objectives at organizational level to the daily operational performance.